Hey there YouTube, this is Elite Master bringing you a video review. This time I'll be taking a look at the 1 1 44th scale high grade Segu Deep Arms. Uh, it's, it's a Segu. It's a D E E P Arms. I have no idea what that stands for. But it's awesome looking. As you can see, it's molded in nice dark blue color, like a straight blue. There are some light blue parts right here on the top of the head, the knees and the feet, gray for the backpack right here. You get another shade of like bluish gray for the joints, and uh, you get some orange right there. And uh, let's see, that's it. That's it for colors on this guy. Blue, light blue, blue gray, gray and orange. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> now then for stickers, he's got quite a few. He's got the black sticker on the base of the mono eye and then an orange metallic sticker on the eye itself. It's not molded in there so you have to decide where to put it. He's got a uh, blue sticker on the crotch. Uh, I'm trying to remember where all the stickers are. Oh yeah, blue stickers on the foot right here. You can, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the same color blue as this, I think. And then you just put it over there. Put this blue sticker over it. It's a pretty good sticker. Matches the color of the plastic pretty well. And uh, that's it for stickers that you put on the kit. You also get these little decals right here. 010203. Zaft and the flower. No idea what this is about. I've never... I don't know where this thing's from, I just picked it up because it was awesome looking. <laughs> now then, for its articulation, it is hindered because of the deep arms, but its head's on a ball joint, well, rolls up and down, and goes side to side. I tried making it go 360 and it popped off. Its arms can rotate that far before they hit the mounts for the, arm, for the deep arms. If you move the deep arms out of the way, they can go out that far, but the deep arms still get in the way, so whatever then won't go out that far anyway rotate below the elbow bend at the elbow hands in a ball joint rotates and wiggles waist is on a peg so it just rotates side skirts two different side skirts I'll show you why later but they can move up and down slightly this one not so much this one a lot better front skirts molded together so they move up all the way his legs or ball joints to move forward, back a bit, in and out. Bend at two points at the leg, not very far, but you know, gets the job done. And its feet are on a joint that's inside the foot that can make it go forward and back. And then the ball joint can make it go forward and back, it's like that. So all together, forward and back that far, side to side. And rotate some. And there's no movement in the backpack. But the arm, deep arms, they can move in and out at that joint right there. Let me point the light over here. There we go. They can move in and out of that joint. Move up and down at that same joint. And there are ball joints right here so they can rotate. And wiggle around so you can move them out of the way. Kind of. And the thruster right here is on a hinge that moves up and down and rotates. And uh, that's it for its articulation. It's a, it's an okay, it's okay in articulation, you know, considering the seed line wasn't exactly known for its well articulated high grades. The SDs were amazing for seed. The SD seed kits were articulated up the wazoo for seed. I mean for SD kits, but this one not so much. Now then, for uh, its accessories. First, you can the deep arms on its mounts right here. They can rotate forward. Just bring the thruster up, and there you go. Deep arms deployed. And that's about it. And uh, he's also got his anti-ship sword. It's very nice here. Just a few pieces of plastic, one long piece and then two of these bluish 
pieces right here and as you can see there's nothing there but you do get the blade and I have heard that people have lots of problems with this blade trying to get it to actually go into uh, the slot and stay straight I haven't had much of a problem with it it bevels a little bit but if I just work with it it's nice and straight and that looks really nice just pop this into his hand and he's got a really cool looking melee weapon so uh, props there and you can store this just take that blade out on the suit in that set in that side skirt right there just push it down and this little hook right here will lock it into the skirt if you push it hard enough and there you go the blade is now on the side skirt and you can move it up and down and side to side all that goodness now then that would essentially be it that this guy uses as far as I know but he does come with uh, a few other accessories he comes with his uh, machine gun here with an extra hand and uh, this is left over from the regular Sigu just uh, three pieces of plastic sandwiched together and you put the tip on but it's nice nonetheless just switch it out and now he's got a machine gun but if that's not enough the original Sigu also had a weapon that was called the Gatling gun like the Gatling shield or something like that and you get the Gatling gun part of it you don't get the shield unfortunately but whatever he didn't it doesn't really go with the kit anyway but you get that and it can just peg onto the side of the arm because they didn't bother to give you a separate arm it's the same exact arm as all the other CGUs so you can peg in there and uh, that's it for its accessories you do get a couple spare parts you get this piece that you can put on outside of the command antenna right here but I prefer the the an antenna so I just left it there you get these pieces which are front foot pieces which go into there with that tiny little blue pieces you get the spare thruster for the back and you get the mounts for the wings you don't get the wings itself which is okay because he doesn't use them but you get the mounts for them I guess so that's all the spare parts you get so he's pretty good it's a really nice kit I suggest you go get it out you go get it it's a uh, fairly decently priced for uh, its age it's uh, let me take a look at the box here 1500 yen a little bit more expensive than the standard Sigu but that's mostly because of the arms right here it's a little bit more plastic but uh, yeah it's a really nice kit highly recommend it if you want to pick a pick up a Sigu why not pick up this guy he comes with almost all the same weapons the regular Sigu does uh, minus the uh, sword that the regular CUs do have, but he's got a better sword, in my opinion. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do plan on picking up the other CUs, and uh, I will put these decals on right here after I paint them. But yeah, he's a nice kit, and with those extra guns on him, you can have him pull off a strike, uh, not strike, a freedom esque full burst mode. And it's just really nice looking. I love this kit. Very nice. Go pick it up. Recommended.